So this summer, the Jacksonville Public Library and Kids Hope Alliance wants to help out our local kids, making sure that they get a good lunch every day. These are children 18 and younger at 12 locations across the city. Joining me now to discuss this, we have Lorna Reed and Chris Boven. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you for having Thank us. You. I love this program. And I think we don't, we underestimate how many kids actually don't have food right. at home and they really rely on the school year to provide those lunches. Yeah, there are, so there's, uh, one in four kids in the Jacksonville area um, don't know if they're going to eat today. Mm -hmm. And so that means about 50,000, more than 50,000 children who don't know. So it's great that we have the opportunity to work with great partners like KHA to bring in this food, um, to, to give them a chance to eat. And then while we have them there, we have some great library right, stuff going right. on too. And just, you know, to make sure kids have that information, they can come to any of those 12 libraries. Yeah. You don't have to prove anything. Right. And lunch is served, and it's yep. a cold lunch, yes. but it's something that they can eat inside the library as well, which yes. is nice. Yeah, so they can eat it at the library. They will eat it at the library. It's a great cold lunch. It has a protein. It has a grain. It has, so it's like a peanut mm -hmm. butter and jelly sandwich or chicken sandwich, um, fruit or vegetable, milk and juice. So it's okay. a great it's clever, meal. Yeah, yeah it gets everything in there. It's good. <laughs> it's good. It's good. You want yeah. to taste it. Yeah. When yeah. I see, when I see the when I see the lunches actually come in, I'm just like, oh hey, right. I want one. Because <laughs> um, the thing is cool. To, it's it's cool too because yeah, we do have our sandwiches, but then like one night one day I saw like nachos, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's actually it's food that kids want mm -hmm. to eat. Um, and another thing too is like it gives them a chance to socialize. So it's kind of like having like your school lunch all over again. Right. You know, they get a chance that to come and sit and just you know, eat in a safe environment, have fun with their friends and stuff, and that's really what it's about. And that's about. Monday through Friday. Yes, yes well, Monday okay, through so Friday. Not on the weekends. Not on the weekends right. at the okay. library, no, All not right, right now. And, but, and again, yeah. mimics that school year. Yes, yes. That, right. Those five days. Right. All right, so also, I, I love my library. <laughs> you guys know I do. I have my, I take my kids there. We do tutoring there. We yes. participate when they were little. We did all of the, all of the kids' events. Um, and you guys are doing something. It's called Drop Everything and Read. Yes. And it's for all the young kids. Yes. Uh, and, old, and, and older ones, too, the teenagers. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, Drop Everything and Read is something that's being done in every single one of our locations, all 21 locations. Um, basically, Drop Everything and Read, it's at various times, depending on your local library. Um, but for 15 minutes, um, you'll either have like a librarian read to you, so it's like an impromptu story time, or if you come and hang out with me in the teen room in the main library, we do things like audio books yeah. or something that's really inciting. Just either way, whatever it takes to really stay engaged um, because 15 minutes is actually uh, what the required amount for like brain um, stimulation okay. to keep things going. And we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to prevent what's called the summer slide. Yep. Um, that gap between, um, you know, when they leave school and when they go back to school, we really want to stay, keep our kids engaged. Right. Um, we and it all doesn't take, like what you're saying, it doesn't take much. No. And you know, a lot of parents, are, they're lost. They're like, okay, what do I do? How do I make sure that my kids are reading and still learning? Yeah, absolutely. But that's simple. I mean, libraries are near all of us. Right. There's a library in pretty much every neighborhood in Jacksonville um, or nearby. And yeah, we have programs all the time. We have lots of different things going on. We mm -hmm. do also not even, and even if you can't get to a library, we have audiobooks right. that you can get. You have services. We have movies and right. TV shows. Which I was so. surprised you said audiobooks work just like reading it triggers that mind and gets that going yeah your line your uh, mind processes is the words from a book a written book versus an audiobook mm -hmm. and processes them exactly the same way so you're getting the same thing so don't let anybody tell you that it's listening to an audio so book much easier. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. is any worse than uh, than reading it's all the same you're processing it you're getting that you're getting that benefit of reading and I know all the libraries vary on, on their hours but they're open pretty early for the you know for kids right. if they're if they just don't have a place to be and it's so hot outside yeah. absolutely yeah. and Another thing, too, that uh, all of the libraries are doing is we are doing, uh, for our youth, we're doing what's called the six-week summer series. There you go. Um, so every library has uh, to, like, get, like I said, again, uh, check with your local library to see, like, what topic they're covering. But uh, teen series will have a six-week summer series, and youth will also have a six-week summer series as well. Um, these six-week series are basically, of course, held once a week for six weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just a really fun program that promotes literacy. It keeps uh, kids engaged. There's a lot of fun stuff that happens with them. 
You know, so when you might be talking about superheroes, you might be talking about Cosmic Destiny, you might be talking about Harry Potter. There's, they're all over, <laughs> all over the place. So look, yeah. this is the truth. I saw I was doing this interview today, and this is my library and its schedule, and it was sitting on my desk, and I, I map it out. So please check out what your local library is doing. I mean, it's, it's real, and it is good for our kids, and it's, it makes life easier on the parents. Trust me on that. So for more information on the library's free lunch program, also a list of the locations and all the different programs that are going to be taking place all summer long and during the school year, too, head over to newsforjax.com. Thank you guys for the work you Thank do for our kids. I love Thank it. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much,